Why don't zookeepers play hide and seek? Because good luck hiding when the monkeys are around. Welcome to the wild and often wacky world of zookeeping, a profession that's anything but mundane, where the co-workers are a lively bunch of fur, feathers, and scales. Imagine clocking in every day to the symphony of animal calls, the mischievous monkeys planning their next prank, or the proud peacock strutting its stuff. Zookeepers are part caretaker, part educator, and always ready for an adventure. It's a job that's as unpredictable as it is rewarding. One moment you're feeding the lions, the next you're playing referee in a squabble between penguins. And just when you think you've seen it all, the tortoise decides to take a joyride on the zebra's back. The most surprising fact about zookeepers? They're the ultimate multitaskers, juggling feeding schedules, habitat maintenance, and animal enrichment all while keeping a keen eye on the health and well-being of their charges. So, if you're not a fan of surprises, this might not be the job for you. So, what's the most surprising thing about a zookeeper that few people know? It's not all about feeding animals. Imagine this. You're a zookeeper. Your mornings start with a hearty breakfast. Not for you, but for an entire menagerie of creatures. But it's not as simple as tossing a bale of hay into an enclosure or throwing a fish into a pool. You're essentially a dietitian, creating carefully balanced meals to meet the unique nutritional needs of each species. But wait, there's more. You're also a habitat engineer. Your job isn't just to keep the animals fed, but to keep them happy and healthy in an environment as close to their natural habitat as possible. You're shaping landscapes, adjusting temperatures, and even creating rainstorms in the reptile house. And let's not forget about your role as an animal psychologist. Understanding animal behavior is crucial to ensure their well-being and to keep yourself safe. You're observing, taking notes, and adjusting your approach as needed. You're not just a zookeeper, but an animal whisperer. You're also a mechanic. Ever tried fixing a broken heater in a penguin enclosure or repairing a hydraulic door in a lion's den? Zookeepers often have to handle unexpected machinery malfunctions. And let's not even get started on the paperwork. You're documenting everything from feeding schedules to behavioral changes, and even the occasional funny anecdote for the zoo's social media page. Who knew being a zookeeper was so multifaceted, right? But that's what makes it so rewarding. It's a profession that keeps you on your toes, constantly learning and adapting. It's more than a job, it's a lifestyle. And for those who have a passion for animals and a desire to contribute to their conservation, it's the best job in the world. So next time you visit a zoo and see a zookeeper, remember they're more than just an animal feeder. They're a dietitian, a habitat engineer, a psychologist, a mechanic, and a documentarian. And most importantly, they're an advocate for the animals they care for. Who knew being a zookeeper was so multifaceted, right? Thinking about becoming a zookeeper? Better hit the books. Yes, my friends, being a zookeeper isn't just about frolicking with frothy-mouthed llamas or playing peekaboo with peacocks. It requires a solid foundation of education and training. In fact, most institutions prefer their zookeepers to have a bachelor's degree in zoology, biology, wildlife management, or a related field. Familiarity with animal behavior, nutrition, and conservation is key. And no, binge-watching Animal Planet doesn't count as familiarity. Though it could be a fun starting point, you'll need to delve deeper into textbooks and research papers for a more comprehensive understanding of these creatures that will soon become your day-to-day -day companions. And did you know that to work with certain animals, you might need specific certifications? For instance, to work with marine animals, you might need a scuba certification. Imagine that, you're not just a zookeeper but also an underwater adventurer. Practical experience is also crucial. Many prospective zookeepers gain this through internships or volunteer work at animal shelters, veterinary offices, or wildlife rehabilitation centers. Here, you can learn to handle a variety of animals, from the cute and cuddly to the not-so-cuddly ones. But remember, it's not all about feeding and cleaning. Zookeepers also need to know about diet preparation, habitat maintenance, and even record-keeping. You'll be the Jane Goodall of the zoo world, observing and documenting animal behavior, and maybe even contributing to scientific research. And let's not forget about physical fitness. Zookeeping is a physically demanding job. You need to be in tip-top shape to keep up with the energy of the animals and the demands of the job. So, don't skip those gym sessions. So, if you thought being a zookeeper was all fun and games, think again. It's a challenging but incredibly rewarding profession that requires a unique blend of education, experience, and physical fitness. But hey, 
Where else can you get a daily dose of adventure, science, and animal cuddles all in one place? Ever wonder how the role of a zookeeper has changed over time? Well, buckle up because we're about to dive into the evolution of this wild profession. Picture this, it's the 19th century, and zoos are more like menageries, a collection of exotic creatures for people to gawk at. Zookeepers were essentially caretakers, ensuring the animals were fed and the cages were clean. But as the years rolled on, something amazing happened. We started to care. The 20th century saw a seismic shift in our understanding and treatment of animals. The role of the zookeeper evolved from simply caretaker to educator and conservationist. Zoos transformed into centers for conservation, research, and public education. The zookeeper's role now involved educating visitors about the animals, their habitats, and the importance of conservation. Fast forward to the 21st century, and our zookeepers are more like animal ambassadors. They're not just feeding and cleaning, they're researching, preserving species, and educating the public. They've become the bridge between us and the wild, helping us understand the importance of each creature in our ecosystem. But this evolution didn't happen overnight. It was shaped by historical events and cultural influences. The environmental movement of the 60s and 70s played a huge role in this shift. As society became more aware of the impact of human activity on the environment, the focus of zoos shifted towards conservation and education. And let's not forget the impact of technology. With the advent of the internet and social media, zookeepers can now share their knowledge and passion with millions around the globe. They can raise awareness about endangered species, share the success stories of animals they've helped, and inspire the next generation of conservationists. So while the job may have started as merely feeding the lions, today's zookeepers are jacks of all trades. They're educators, conservationists, researchers, and sometimes they're even social media stars. It's clear that the role of the zookeeper is ever-evolving. And who knows, maybe the zookeepers of the future will be teleporting to different habitats or communicating with animals telepathically. Only time will tell. So, how does a zookeeper make a difference in society? Well, let's dive straight in. Zookeepers are the unsung heroes of the wildlife world. Their role goes way beyond the feeding and cleaning routines we often associate them with. Zookeepers serve as the bridge between us, the public, and the fascinating world of animals. They educate us about different species, their behaviors, habitats, and the vital importance of wildlife conservation. Because let's face it, most of us wouldn't know a gibbon from a gecko if we didn't have an enthusiastic zookeeper pointing out the difference. But their impact doesn't stop at education. Zookeepers are also at the forefront of animal care and welfare. They ensure that every animal in their charge is healthy, happy, and well taken care of. These passionate individuals dedicate their lives to providing animals with enriching environments that mimic their natural habitats as closely as possible. And it's all done with an infectious love for these amazing creatures that inspires us to care more deeply about their well-being. And let's not forget the role zookeepers play in conservation efforts. They're involved in breeding programs for endangered species, contribute to scientific research, and work tirelessly to ensure that future generations can enjoy the rich diversity of wildlife our planet has to offer. So, the next time you visit a zoo, take a moment to appreciate the hardworking zookeeper who's making it all possible. It's safe to say zookeepers play a crucial role in our world. A zookeeper is just like an animal trainer, right? Not quite. Now let's dive into this common misconception. A zookeeper and an animal trainer are as different as a lion and a flamingo. Both are fascinating but with distinct roles and skills. You see, a zookeeper is like the superhero of the animal kingdom. They're the ones ensuring the health and well-being of the animals in their care, maintaining their habitats and observing their behaviors. They're the ones who make sure the polar bears are cool in the summer and the penguins are cozy in the winter. Zookeepers are the unsung heroes who ensure our favorite animals are well taken care of, rain or shine. On the other hand, an animal trainer, while also passionate about animals, focuses on teaching animals specific behaviors or skills. They might train dolphins to perform jumps for a marine show, or teach dogs to help people with disabilities. Animal trainers are like the animal world's teachers, imparting knowledge and skills to their animal students. Now, it's not to say that zookeepers can't train animals or that trainers don't care about animal welfare, but their primary responsibilities and skills are distinct. A zookeeper is more of a caretaker, while an animal trainer is a teacher. So, next time you're at the zoo or watching an animal show, remember the difference. 
So next time, don't mistake your zookeeper for an animal trainer. What's the biggest hazard of being a zookeeper? Having to explain why you smell like a zoo all the time. Now, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Imagine having a lion as your most demanding client at work, or dealing with a monkey who's more mischievous than a class of kindergartners on a sugar high. Not to mention, the physical demands of the job can make even the fittest gym-goer break a sweat. You see, zookeeping isn't all about cuddling cute critters. It's more about shoveling, hauling, cleaning. And did we mention shoveling? The job requires a strong back and even stronger willpower. But hey, there's never a dull moment when your workmates include a grumpy grizzly or a playful penguin. And let's not forget the emotional hazards. Ever tried explaining to a heartbroken child why the giraffe can't come out to play during a thunderstorm? It's a tough gig, but someone's got to do it. Being a zookeeper is definitely not a walk in the park. So, what's the payoff for all this hard work? Well, let's talk turkey, or rather, peacock. Zookeepers might not be rolling in dough, but their earnings are nothing to squawk at either. The salary of a zookeeper can vary widely, from a humble stipend to a comfortable living wage. Factors such as experience, location, and the size of the zoo can greatly affect compensation. For instance, a seasoned zookeeper at a large metropolitan zoo may earn significantly more than a newbie at a small countryside menagerie. But let's be honest, the real reward for a zookeeper often isn't found in the paycheck. It's in the satisfaction of making a difference, both for the animals under their care and for the visitors who come to learn and appreciate the marvels of the animal kingdom. It's in the thrill of nursing a sick lion back to health or seeing the awe in a child's eyes as they meet their favorite animal up close for the first time. It's in the joy of contributing to the conservation of endangered species and the preservation of our planet's biodiversity. Don't get me wrong though, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are long hours, physically demanding tasks, and the occasional occupational hazard, like getting chased by an overly enthusiastic ostrich. But for those who truly love what they do, these challenges are just part of the job and they wouldn't have it any other way. Zookeepers are often described as the unsung heroes of the animal world. They are educators, conservationists, and caretakers, all rolled into one. Their work is not only important, but also deeply rewarding. Whether it's the delight of teaching people about animals, the fulfillment of contributing to wildlife conservation, or the simple pleasure of bonding with the animals they care for, zookeepers find immense satisfaction in their work. So, do you agree with our take on a day in the life of a zookeeper? Please comment below and don't forget to check the description for salary details.